All right, so the last one then is the upward X. This takes us back to slashes. And so when we do the upward X, we're just gonna go one, two, three, and then go back to our low and high back. Can everyone hear okay? So a lot of times the elbow, bringing the elbow up is really helpful with this. It's tough to do this just wrist. It's very awkward, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? So now you get your wide X to your narrow X to your tri V to your blitz to your upward X. Basically, it's just teaching you the difference between slashing and hacking. That's all it's doing. Okay? And the, the, the fun part about the hacking, a lot of people don't realize when you hack, you know, right? when we slash, we define a slash as going from all the way from one side to the other, no break in the motion. That's a slash. When I hack, though, hacks can go in two directions. Hack, a hack, it makes the connection, but then it breaks that momentum, and it can either bounce to the other side, or it can bounce back to the side it originated from. Okay? So when you look at those tri -Vs, those are hacks, and they're going to the opposite sides, right? But when you look at our uh, backhand, low, backhand, high, they're both hacks, right? The first one goes back to its originating side. The second one goes to the other side so we can start again. So you get a little practice doing both. Same thing, you know, for, for you instructors, this is one of the things I try to get across when we teach the high, low, high. When we teach the high, low, high, yep, okay. here, I, I talk a lot with new, newer people about how it's slashes and hacks again. That's a great place to start in, introducing that, right? Because again, you have a slash, you have a hack that goes back to where it came from, and you have a hack that travels to the other side. So you have all three types of strikes in your high-low high. Does that make sense? So that's just one of the reasons why we teach that first.